Now let's see how CPU will execute this process. This page table is loaded at exactly at frame number 11, right? So that there is some address at which this page table is loaded. Similarly, for every process, there will be some page table and all the page tables address will be present in a fixed location. So what CPU will do is it will load the page table base, ad base address in the register. Okay, for that it will have a special register called as page table base address register. Page, ta page table base register. Now what will be the base a page table base address of process P1? See, we have four bytes over here. Fine. Similarly, see the, here. This is where the page table of P1 is actually loaded, right? So here there are exactly 11 frames right from 0 to 10 there are 11 frames before the page table of p1 so there are 11 frames fine now every frame is actually holding 4 bytes of data okay because they have given that frame size equal to 4 bytes and so every 11 frame is actually 11 frames are holding 4 bytes of data and they have also given that it is a byte addressable system which means every byte will hold an address so exactly 11 into 4 equal to 44 addresses has been placed before this okay 44 addresses will be 44 addresses has been exhausted till here okay so this is the 45th address page table of p1 is loaded at the 45th address starting from the in the from the ram okay so it is loaded at 45th address now what is the 45th address in inside our RAM? See, we are actually starting our addressing from 0, right? Now in case if you are starting from address 0, 45th address is nothing but 44, right? So the page table of P1 will hold the address 44, okay? Page table of P1 is actually placed in address 44. Now how 44 will be indicated? That really depends on that really depends on size of the RAM. Okay. See, every the size of total size of RAM is 64 bytes, which means 6 bits are needed in order to 64 bytes and every byte is addressable, which means for every byte an address will be given. Now, in order to address the 64 bytes, we need 6 addresses, right? So we need 64 addresses, right? Now, in order to address 64 addresses, we need exactly 6 bits, right? So, any address in address of any byte will be indicated using 6 bits and with 6 bits we need to indicate the number 44 okay we need to indicate the number 44 using 1 2 3 4 5 6 using 6 bits now how 40 how can we convert 44 to binary it is very simple okay you can straight away convert it no problem but anyway i am doing it using this l division okay it is nothing but 44 22 into 2 is 44 remainder is 0 2 11 into 2 is 22 remainder is 0 2 5 into 2 is 10 remainder is 1 2 2 2 is 4 remainder is 1 2 1 2 is 2 remainder is 0 so there are 6 bits over here right 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here there are 6 bits and we, and we have exactly 6 bits so i am going to indicate as it is in case if you would have got here as in 5 bits what i will do is i will include a 0 in, in front okay yeah, that is very trivial right so I'm going to include this, indicate the six, I'm going to write the six bits over here, okay? It is nothing but, I'm, I need to start writing from the bottom. One zero double one double zero, okay? One zero double one double zero. This will be the base address of this process page table of P1, okay? So this address will be taken and will be loaded inside this register, okay? Just for simplicity, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, Okay, let me write as it is. Okay, let me write as it is. One zero double one double zero. So it is actually able to write the base address of the page table of P1. Fine. Now using the page table base register address, which means page table base address, our CPU will be able to reach the page table. Fine. There is no doubt about that. Now, but actually our CPU is supposed to execute a process, right? CPU is supposed to execute a process. Now just to facilitate that which means just to make it easier we have actually created this page table and we have placed it inside the RAM. Now our CPU is able to reach here fine but our ultimate goal of our CPU is different okay it needs to execute a particular line of process P1 right if CPU wants to execute process P1. So our CPU will generate logical address for process P1 initially 
before actually taking the base register page table base register address over here it will first have which line of process p1 it needs to execute first okay cpu which means cpu will always generate logical address see logic how many bits will logical address of p1 will have that really depends on how many bytes p1 has right and p1 is byte addressable system see p1 has process p1 has exactly 16 bytes right process p1 has 16 bytes and every byte is given an address and so we need 16 addresses in order to in order to address process p1 right in order to address every byte of process p1 so now in order to address 16 in order in order to generate 16 addresses we need 4 bits right so logical address of process p1 will have exactly 4 bits okay logical address of process p1 will have exactly 4 bits and so this address will have exactly 4 bits okay first bit second bit third bit and fourth bit now 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 tell me what is the address of this byte okay see this is the process p1 now i want you to tell what will be the address of this one is this page number will be indicated using two bits okay because our total logical address our logical address of a process p1 will be indicated using four bits because process size is 16 bytes and so it will be indicated using four bits out of this four bits two bits are actually used in order to index inside a page which means our page will have lot of bytes now once we have reached the page in order to find out the exact byte in order to find out the exact byte we need two bits right now in order to find out the page number we need to have exactly two bits okay this is actually indicating the page number and this is actually indicating the byte number within the page okay we also say this is page offset page offset what it is actually indicating it is actually going to indicate the byte number within a single page fine this is how logical address of process p1 will look like fine now and so this four bits let us assume process our cpu wants to execute process third line of process p1 okay instruction number three now how this will be indicated using four bits it will be indicated as 0011 okay see in 0011 see this is actually going this is indicating the page number okay and this is indicating the page offset now using this page number it will go into the entry number okay see i have already told that this is actually this entry number in this entry number 0 is actually indicating the frame number in which page number 0 is present similarly entry number 1 is actually indicating page number 1 which means the frame number in which the page number 1 of p1 is present similarly entry number 2 is actually indicating the frame number in which page number 2 is actually present so from this what i can tell you is cpu what it will do is on saying on seeing the page number 0 it will go to the entry number 0 okay on seeing page number 00, zero it will go to entry number 00, zero. okay and entry number 00, zero is this thing right frame this this thing and from this see right now we have logical address right we have large four bits of logical address and it is nothing but 00, zero followed by 11 one. and what it will do is on seeing this 00, zero, it will go to this 00, zero fine on seeing this it will understand that okay page number 0 is actually present in frame number 3 okay it will it is actually present in frame number 3 and what it will do is it will replace this page number with frame number okay see page number is actually indicated using two bits right because we have exactly four pages so we have four pages but frame number will be indicated using four bits because it is actually we are having two power four which is nothing but 16 frames and so what it will do what cpu will do is on seeing page number zero zero it will go to the entry number zero zero and then it will find out that okay page number zero is present in frame number three and what it will do is it will remove this page number and then it will replace it using frame number okay and frame number will be indicated using four bits and for, with four bits i need to indicate three okay because it is frame number three right so with four bits it will be zero zero one one okay this is three using four bits fine now how our address will look like it will not change the offset okay offset will not be changed why because page size equal to frame size okay anyway let's see that bit later so how our address will look like our address will look like this okay see this is the logical address okay 
now this logical address page number is has been converted into frame number now how now what will this address indicate this is nothing but physical address okay physical address means the address inside the ram see so far what cpu has generated is logical address which means it is actually indicating the byte number within the process it doesn't know anything about the frame it didn't anything about ram okay our cpu doesn't know at which address in the ram our process is loaded so it just generated the logical address now what it has done is it has actually maybe have actually maintained the page table inside the ram now using the using this page table base address it will reach the page table fine once reaching the page table what it will do is it will see the page number and in case the page number is 0 0 it will go to the entry number 0 0 of page table of p1 now after going to the entry number it will find out the frame number in which the corresponding page of p1 is actually loaded and it will replace the page number using this frame number now it has got the physical address okay physical address means the address of the ram in which this third this third line of process p1 is present okay the address of ram in which third line of process p1 will be present fine now we got the physical address now with this physical address it can straight away go into the ram and get the exact line of process p1 let's see how okay it is very simple again see now we have exactly six bits why we have six bits because our ram size is 64 bytes okay now in order to indicate 64 bytes we need six bits that's the reason we are having six bit physical address fine now within the 64 six, within the six bits what is the what is the frame number and what is the offset okay see what is meant by frame number frame number means we have exactly 16 frames now in order to indicate 16 frames we need four bits right so the first four bits will indicate the frame number this will indicate the frame number and this two bits will indicate the offset okay it is also called as frame offset this is called as page offset which means the the remaining portion of logical address is called as page offset whereas the remaining portion of physical address we say that as frame offset okay so what it will do is using this frame number it will go to the third frame the third frame is present here right third frame is present here so using this it will go here fine uh, now after going into this frame it, it doesn't know which byte it needs to access right it doesn't know which byte it needs to access for that it will use this offset it is actually indicating 1 1 so it will go after going to the third frame it will take the last last byte okay this is the exact byte our cpu has actually requested okay now this will be returned to the cpu now cpu will, will happily execute this line okay now one thing you can do is you can check it whether it is the correct address which we actually indicated see what is what is actually our what our actual logical address is actually indicating it is indicating that third byte of our process should be executed okay that is what cpu is generated i need to execute that third byte of process p1 okay that is what because it is a byte addressable system and this it is indicating that byte number 3 is what i need to execute okay so byte number 3 so byte number 3 of process p1 is this thing why because byte number 0 of p1 byte number 1 of p1 byte number 2 of p1 byte number 3 okay this is byte number 0 of p1 see this is where our process p1 has started executing our has been loaded right starting from this address process p1 is loaded this is the page number 0 of p1 so the first byte of zeroth byte of p1 is loaded here first byte of p1 is loaded here second byte of p1 is loaded here and third byte of p1 is loaded here okay so our uh, so our uh, paging technique works perfectly fine so let's have a quick summary of see this is a very long video i know that it is very difficult for you to understand but let me tell you one thing this is the most difficult topic in the complete operating systems okay in case if you can understand this particular video whatever you are going to see hereafter will become very very easy okay so what i i'll give i'll give you a complete summary of what we have seen so far see coming to contiguous allocation we have seen two two videos back in case if you want to want to go through contiguous allocation just go two videos back you will be able to see that now what we have seen in contiguous allocation is since all the all the bytes of process is loaded in contiguous addresses of ram we can straight away load the base address of our process and we can execute that process using simple addition okay that is what we have seen it which means our cpu will generate logical address and the base address of that process will be loaded inside the register 
and both this both the, and both this will be added okay and both this will be added and using simple addition we will be able to perform the execution that is what we see in, we saw in contiguous allocation but that is not possible in non contiguous allocation okay that is not possible in non contiguous allocation so what paging does is it, it uses some simple technique called as page table using page table it is actually helping cpu in order to execute the process without using simple addition okay it is not using we are not using simple addition here we are actually using the we are actually referring the page table in order to find out the frame number after that we are going to take the process and then execute it right that, that is what we are doing it here so what we did is we created the page table number of entries in page table will be equal to the number of pages our process has which means for every process we will have a page table and the number of entries in the page table will be equal to the number of pages in the process fine now this page table will also be placed inside the ram fine now this page down the base address of this page table will be loaded in the page table base address base register see let us assume that our cpu has has decided that it needs to execute the third byte of process p1 okay it has decided i need to execute the third byte of process p1 now how it is decided it will generate the logical address it has generated the logical address now after this is done what it will do is okay cpu will understand that okay in order to execute this i need to find out the page table of process p1 so it will find out the page table base address which means the address at which page table of p1 is loaded and it will load it inside the register okay using this address it will be able to get it will be able to find out where our page table is present now once reaching the page table now in order to index the page table which means in order to find out the exact in order to find out the exact in the entry number it uses something called as page number okay page number of logical address using this it will go to the exact entry number and within the entry it will be able to find out the frame number now what it will do is it will replace this page number using this frame number okay now once the frame number is actually once the page number is replaced by frame number our logical address has been converted into physical address okay now what we do is now we have the physical address it is very simple okay now using the physical address our cpu will straight away get into the ram and will execute the process or it will execute the exact line of a process or exact exact byte of our process okay this is how our cpu will execute the process using paging in case if you can understand this video whatever you are going to see hereafter will become very easy okay this is the most difficult topic in operating system so be very patient in case if you are not able to understand keep watching it two three times even after that in case if you are if you are not able to understand do message me okay i will 